Hello friends, welcome in this uh, lecture number 10.1a. This uh, lecture belongs to unit number 10 and this is the first lecture and the title of this lecture is Optical Fiber. This is a part of Cisbrot Physics, learn with me the special uh, lectures on some special topics. I, Dr. Mohanel Verma from Department of Applied Physics, Sri Sankrachai Technical Campus, Junwani Vilay. Outlines of this lecture, objectives and uh, prerequisite of lecture, optical fiber introduction and uh, uh, classifications and the propagation of light in optical fiber, then fractional detection, some parameters and attenuation applications and some advantages. Uh, this will be included in uh, this lecture. Objectives and prerequisite. The objectives of this lecture is to introduce optical fiber in its various aspects including introduction, some uh, uh, advantages, some terminology used and uh, it's a technological importance. The prerequisite for this lecture is um, I expect the students would have the knowledge of ref uh, refractional, total internal reflection and uh, basics of trigonometry etc. So basic uh, knowledge of optics is uh, important uh, in this uh, lecture. So let me introduce the optical fiber. So the optical fiber is uh, a cylindrical long thin transparent structure made of a glass and plastic which is designed to guide the light wave from one end to another. The light inside the fiber is guided to principle of total internal reflection. This is uh, the basic structure of optical fiber. This is uh, the center part is uh, core made up of either core, uh, glass or plastic. The total diameter of this uh, average diameter of this core is uh, in between uh, 50 micrometer and the second part that is known as cladding and uh, the diameter of this cladding it is in the range of uh, 125 micrometer and uh, it is protected by one outer layer uh, of protector that is uh, known as sheath and the total uh, diameter of that optical fiber uh, becomes finally 150 micrometer and this is equivalent to the thickness of our uh, hair. So this optical as far as the structure of optical fiber is uh, concerned this is uh, uh, three co-centric cylinders center is core it is uh, discovered by cladding the second part and uh, the third one is uh, the buffer that is a uh, sheath the protector of this and one thing here I would like to mention is the refractive index of core it must be greater than uh, the refractive index of cladding the refract because this uh, uh, optical the principle of this optical fiber is based on total internal reflection so first of all uh, to know the mechanism of propagation of light uh, inside this uh, through this optical fiber we should know about uh, the basics of this total internal reflection so when the rays of light is passed from denser medium to rare medium and the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle then the incident light is reflected back in uh, denser medium this phenomenon is called as total internal reflection so this is uh, the denser medium this is the rear medium and uh, the first ray one the angle of incidence is very less so simple refraction will take place second here if this angle is equivalent to the critical angle then the angle of refraction is 90 degree and when this angle is greater than this critical angle then this ray come back to uh, the same medium and this is known as a total internal reflection so for the total internal reflection the required condition is uh, the n1 must be means the uh, refractive index of the denser medium must be greater than the refractive index of the second medium and the core cladding interface the angle of incident must be greater than critical angle now the propagation of light in optical fiber this is the ray diagram of that this is core second part is a cladding so, and uh, a light ray incident in this uh, first end of this core uh, it is passing from this uh, first medium the refractive index uh, uh, n naught this is the launching end and this angle is theta i so this is angle of incident theta i if it passes from one medium to another medium refraction is taking place and this is the interfacing zone of this uh, core and cladding and that uh, the condition for total internal reflection is uh, uh, being fulfilled here so the light is uh, 
reflecting back in the same medium of core and uh, in the second beam also uh, that this is also following the similar phenomena of a total internal reflection so as far as the mathematics is concerned uh, simple calculation is here uh, at the launching it and this is sine theta i theta i is uh, here this is the angle of incident and this is the angle of refraction so by using Snell's law sin theta by sin theta is equal to n1 n1 is the refractive index of second medium this is the refractive index of core and this is the refractive index of the first medium that is this launching medium and then it is uh, solved for this sin theta that is n1 by n0 sin theta r <coughs> in triangle a b n in this triangle this is a b n uh, this theta r this angle theta r it is uh, actually into 90 minus phi this angle is phi and this is 90 degree so th theta r is equal to 90 minus phi so when we put uh, this theta r is equal to 90 minus phi then this uh, sine 90 minus phi is equal to cos 90 minus phi and uh, at theta i that is equal to uh, this uh, phi i maximum at the uh, uh, this where that condition this uh, phi is equal to theta c so uh, by using this condition this sine theta i maximum is equal to n i by uh, n naught cos theta c this phi is equal to uh, theta c this is the critical angle and uh, since this is uh, the uh, from the definition of critical angle sine theta c is equal to n2 by n1 one can write uh, uh, the, the refractive index of this this is uh, uh, n2 and uh, this is n1 so sin theta c is equal to n2 by n1 and here that uh, angle of refraction is 90 degree so cos theta c is equal to just uh, from simple trigonometry that is n1 square minus n2 square by n0 so by putting this uh, value here and uh, uh, solving that that theta i maximum is equal to sin inverse root of uh, n1 square minus n2 square by n0 square so this is the simple formula uh, for uh, this uh, theta i maximum so this theta i maximum can be rewritten here and uh, in general the first medium is air so this n naught can be uh, written as equal to 1 so theta i maximum is equal to sine inverse 1 root of n1 square minus n2 square this theta i maximum is known as uh, acceptance angle here this is that acceptance angle this is uh, the angle uh, it is the maximum angle to the axis of fiber that light enters the fiber and guided the core so and when we form uh, in conic shape then we have this acceptance cone in three dimensional the ray within the acceptance angles will be guided in the core of uh, fiber forms a cone and uh, this is uh, two times this uh, that theta i maximum so two theta i max which equal to two times sine inverse root of n1 square minus n2 square so this is simple uh, uh, mechanism of propagation of uh, light through this optical fiber through a total um, by following that total internal reflection phenomena now classification of optical fiber so there are different uh, bases for the classification of optical fiber first is according to the number of modes actually this number of this modes is defined as the a number of path followed by uh, that light that wave the, inside that uh, core so first is the single mode fiber smf and if this core size is in the range of 8 to 12 micrometer then light follows one single straight line so since the path is single that's why this is known as single mode in case of multimode optical fiber and uh, if this uh, size of core diameter of that core it is in the range of 50 to 200 micrometer then uh, light follows multi-path there are so many different paths following that total internal reflection so this is known as multimode optical fiber so on the basis of uh, number of path optical fiber can be classified in two parts single mode and multi mode and according to material material core and cladding this optical fiber uh, is classified into three parts glass glass optical fiber here this core and cladding so according to material glass glass fiber the core and cladding are both made up of glass plastic plastic fiber the core and cladding both are made up of plastic and uh, PCS fiber the polyester clade silica fiber that is PCS fiber has silica core and cladded with polyester so these are three types of uh, optical fiber depending on the materials of core and uh, cladding now according to 
fractional index that is a refractive index or fractional index this is also known as that so first is the steep index optical fiber that uh, index profile this is you known this plant is known as index profile index profile is actually a profile a plot between a refractive index of core and cladding this is the plot between a refractive index of core and cladding with the distance from the center this is the center of optical fiber this is the center of optical fiber and the distance is along y axis and the refractive index of core and cladding is along x axis so this is known as uh, index profile this is index profile so on the basis of this index profile this optical fiber uh, is classified into two parts one is the steep index uh, fiber sif here this index is uh, changing in steps suddenly from n1 to n2 so that's why this is uh, uh, known as uh, steep index optical fiber so so when we just start from the center and uh, just go um, passing this uh, core to uh, that cladding that refractive index is uh, being changed in step so this is step index and in second case uh, there is no separate uh, core and cladding term and here there is a gradual change no stepping there is a gradual change in the refractive index of uh, uh, that core and cladding this is uh, known as uh, uh, graded index optical fiber so in the graded index optical fiber that mode of propagation this is multi mode in general single mode is also poss possible in graded index optical fiber but in the step index optical fiber the stepping is uh, here and uh, uh, that uh, light needs to uh, go to the interface of core and cladding and uh, but in the case of graded index optical fiber the total internal reflection uh, can take place anywhere where that uh, uh, the condition for total internal reflection is fulfilled so the path is very smooth and uh, uh, because of this uh, smooth path noise in the signal uh, it is uh, reduced so some terminology used in uh, uh, optical fiber one is the numerical aperture and uh, all these formula are used to solve some numerical problems so one is the numerical aperture and this numerical aperture is actually the sign of acceptance angle so this is acceptance angles and uh, the sign of this acceptance angle is known as numerical aperture and uh, that is equivalent to root of n1 square minus n2 square by n0 so n a n a can be written as equivalent to this when this n0 is equivalent to 1 for air so the numerical aperture determines the light gathering ability this uh, ability of the fiber it measures the amount of light accepted by the fiber next is the fractional index difference this is the ratio of difference in the refractive index of core and cladding with respect to refractive index of core so one can say this is the relative change in the uh, refractive index of core and cladding with respect to the refractive index of core so delta it is equal to n minus n2 by n so uh, we we can correlate this uh, numerical aperture and fractional index by Uh, using this n a is equal to root of n one square minus multiplied by two delta, where uh, this n one square minus n two square can be written like this. So n one square minus n two square is equal to uh, n one plus n two by two, n one minus n two by n one, and this and this is rep uh, replaced by delta. So if this is equal to n one, so just by using simple solution one can get uh, this relation. So students should uh, try to derive this simple uh, derivation, the simple relation between n and uh, fractional index. Now v number and uh, are that number normalized frequency. Then another terminology used in optical fiber that v number this determines how many modes a fiber can support. Mathematically it is given by this v is equal to n d by lambda n a. D is the diameter of core. Lambda is the wavelength of light used in N, and N is the numerical aperture of fiber. So N can be uh, replaced by root of N one square minus N two square. Or in terms of fractional index, one can write this V is equal to pi D by lambda N one. And this is that uh, simple uh, uh, conversion from that N A to a uh, fractional index. So if V is less than or equal to 2.405, then the fiber is known as single mode fiber. So, if you want to know that optical fiber is single mode or multi mode, then just to check its V number. If this V is greater than 2.405, then the fiber is multi mode optical fiber. And the number of mode can be uh, calculated by using the simple formula for the step index optical fiber. This number of mode n is equal to V square by 2. And for the graded index optical fiber, this number of mode is uh, equal to V square by 4. So, uh, during uh, 
so during numerical problem solution we will use this formula for the single step index uh, and uh, gradient index fiber now attenuation ideally uh, optical fiber must have zero energy loss but uh, practically this is not possible so attenuation is a term which is used to calculate the loss of optical power as light travels along the fiber and this optical losses catched by absorption scattering and bending losses signal attenuation is defined as the ratio of optical input power this pi is the input uh, optical input power and then the optical output power pi naught and uh, this uh, uh, this is represented mathematically by alpha is equal to 10 by l log of 10 uh, pi by p naught and this l is the length of that uh, optical uh, fiber in kilometers and uh, the unit of this uh, optical um, attenuation is decibel per kilometer so the factors of attenuation one is the absorption loss absorption is caused by basic fiber material properties as well as the impurity of transition metal so uh, at the presence of oh negative ions so this is a simple plot between uh, with the wavelength and the uh, attenuation that is optical fiber loss and uh, here in this region that uh, Uh, ultraviolet region that optical fiber loss is uh, uh, found maximum and in the second region this is uh, minimum so second is uh, scattering His scattering loss is caused by the interaction of light with density fluctuations within the fiber and the light traveling through the fiber interacts with the density area and light is then partially scattered in all directions and according to Rayleigh's uh, scattering loss is inversely proportional to uh, the fourth power of uh, lambda so microband loss microband loss are uh, small microscopic bands of the fiber axis that occurs ma mainly when a fiber is cabled these bands occurs due to external forces like that and uh, imperfections and uh, uh, because of this uh, bending process the path of that uh, light inside that core is uh, uh, changed and uh, that uh, optical fiber loss occurred Macroband loss. Uh, Macroband loss. Macroband loss is the band having a large radius of curvature related to the fiber diameter. And mode coupling loss. Coupling loss is fiber optics it refers to the power loss that occurs when coupling light from one optical device or medium to another. Now advantages. So optical fibers are cheaper. Optical fibers are small in size, light in weight, flexible and mechanically strong. Optical fiber has not hazardous. Optical fibers are immune to electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference. Optical fiber reduce cross talk uh, possibility. Optical fibers have a wider bandwidth so that um, broadband concept is because of this. Optical fiber have low power loss per unit length. So when we compare with ordinary that copper wire, this is uh, uh, very much uh, uh, importance or advantages over that. some major applications so in the medical field it is used in endoscopy surgical and uh, microscopic biomedical research communication system in telecommunication uh, fiber cable cables we have and with compared to that copper uh, fiber optical cables are more lighter more flexible and uh, carry more data and this is also used for the data transmission that van van and uh, that uh, broadband concept is because of this uh, the use of optical fiber in cable and this optical fiber used for imaging to hard the reach places such as they are used to safety measures and lightning purpose so cable are used to transmit high definition television signals which has a greater bandwidth and speed it is widely used in decoration and christmas trees also so thank you all so i think uh, you will enjoy learning this is very simple uh, topic and uh, by going through this uh, video uh, you will have basic uh, fundamentals of this optical fiber thank you